Today we are creating trailers in iMovie on iPhone. As the name suggests, we are using Apple hardware and Apple software. There are of course other apps you can use, but the trailer feature on iMovie is a very intuitive way to learn some basic editing skills. Later on, you can expand your skills to working with more advanced programs. iMovie runs on Macs, iPads and iPhones. So why use it on iPhone? Because your iPhone is nearly always with you. Start by downloading iMovie from the App Store if you haven't done that already. When you open the app and hit the plus sign, you can choose between a movie or a trailer. Next, the app lets you select a certain type of trailer. There are a lot of different options, each with their own style and music. For this clip, I'll select a superhero theme. The app first lets me fill in all the data. What will be the name of my movie? And who is starring in this movie? Then the app shows me the kinds of shots I need to make the movie. I might need a shot of a group of people, or a medium shot, which is not too far away, but it's not a close up either, or action shots, shots where something is happening, some basic action. The app also indicates how long these shots have to be. You can of course trim them once you're done shooting. I can film these scenes straight from within iMovie or I can select them from previously filmed material on my camera roll. I can even select photos. When I'm done editing for now, I select done. The trailer is saved as a project that I can revisit to edit some more. If it's completely done, I can export the trailer by tapping the center icon in the bottom of your screen. You can choose between a few settings, whether to save it in a folder or to save it in your photo stream, and next you can select the quality. There, you're all done. You've got a professional looking trailer with built-in music and built-in transitions and it looks great.